Hey you guys, it's An Ming. Welcome to Waseda University. Lately, I've been watching a lot of YouTube vlogs about Japan and China and just kind of wondering like, what makes my experience different? Like, what do I have to bring to the table? And then I thought about it. Like, I'm like the luckiest person ever because I can come to a Japanese university for free. Seriously, no tuition, no test, no nothing. I just walked in here. I feel like I found the cheat code to life. So today I want to show you the loophole and how you could go here too, if you do it the right way. Welcome to Waseda. Let me tell you a little bit about Waseda. It was founded in 1882 by then Prime Minister of Japan, Okuma Shigenobu. And it's really hard for Japanese people to get into this school. There's like a 10% acceptance rate or less. And it all depends on your performance on one entrance exam. But for foreign students, it's a lot easier. And Waseda has a reputation for not having a lot of homework, being kind of laid back. And that might be true for undergrad students, but us grad students work pretty hard. And we do get a substantial amount of homework as well as what they call a demi, which is a seminar where you have like a discussion panel and you get judged and you have to do presentations in front of your teacher. And we have a lot of gifts at the gift store. Remember, Waseda is the best school in Japan because we have a bear. And if you have a bear, you're automatically the winner. It's really simple. We have the cutest mascot, so we win. Waseda is the best university in Japan. Remember that. Oh my gosh, we have our own bus. Welcome aboard the Waseda bus. <laughs> oh, that's hokey, but it's convenient. It's a really nice day for January. It's like warm. Got my Red Bull. Man, they should like pay me for this advertising or like give me some of my money back. I bought so many of these. You need it when you're writing a thesis. So there are multiple campuses at Waseda. This is the main campus, that's where I go, but there's a couple others. Some are not too far. They're all kind of in the Shinjuku district area. And this is my favorite one. I think it's the prettiest and it's where I go, but I've seen the others and they're pretty nice too. I hope that you enjoy looking around here. And I gotta go to the library, you guys, because I have to print my homework. Okay, we gotta go to the library, let's go. If you want to get into the library, you're going to need one of these. Waseda University has one of the largest private libraries in all of Japan. And you can just see that this place is huge. It's got multiple levels and there's tons of smart people studying in here because a nice university needs a nice library. That's right, Waseda is right up there with Tokyo University, Kyoto University, Keio. They're all really great places. So how did I get to study here? for free with no entrance exam or anything. We'll get to that. Now that we went to the library and I got my homework printed out, yeah, for Japanese debate class, we're talking about guns. We're gonna debate guns in Japan. They don't have guns, obviously. But now that this is printed, <laughs> now I can show you the rest of the campus, which is going to be specifically where I take classes, which is the Ajia Taiheyo Kenkyuka, the Asian Pacific Studies Department. So let's go.
When I first came to Waseda, it was really hard to find this building because it's like tucked in the back of the campus in the corner and not many people go here. As you see right here, they're not too friendly. If you don't have anything to do with here, don't go in. Going to grad school in Japan is certainly a lot cheaper than it would be in America and I was told that they pay about $12,000 a year for our program without housing or anything included, just tuition. And you're probably wondering, how the heck was I able to come here for free then and I don't have to pay anything? Well, here's the secret. I'm actually an exchange student. I'm not getting my degree from Waseda, but I can come here for one semester and study as a Chinese exchange student. Yeah. Waseda's got the China connection up in here, and there's a lot of Chinese students. And I go to Fudan University in Shanghai, and just through them, I'm able to come here for free. So thank you, China. I know Americans don't say that a lot. This is a Japanese language center. This is where all the foreign students go if they want to improve their Japanese from low, low level to high level. We're taking the highest level class today. We're going to debate Japanese. Let's try our best. こんにちは。じゃあ、また来週。良い週末を。ありがとうございます。一緒に行きまで帰りましょう。はい、一緒に帰りましょう。よかった。Hey look, we're back at Takadono Baba Station. So I'm going to go to JR. You're going that way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, see you next week. See you next week. Bye bye. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed the campus tour and enjoyed listening to my loophole secret. Now for the comment today, which foreign country would you like to study in? Please comment below. Thanks and see you next time.